Well hey there farm and garden friends. Today we're going to talk about trellising tomatoes and cucumbers and why it's a great way to maximize space in the market garden. I'm going to show you how we do it. We'll talk a little bit about why we do it and take you along as we tend to our weekly chores taking care of all these buggers. Let's go. All right, so how we do it is quite simple. We use a tomato twine and we just loop it around that top pipe or we'll use high tensile wire and we just simply run them down to our tomato plants. With a tomato clip, I simply hook it under one of the bottom, one of the bottom branches just so the tomato clip will hook on there. And then I literally just twist the plant around the string as it grows. We'll take this and just like that. And then next week it'll need to be done again. So I do that once a week to all of our tomato plants and all of our cucumber plants. Now I've got two 50 foot beds of tomatoes under these big hoops. I've got a bed, two rows staggered, planted two feet apart of large tomatoes, whole 50 foot bed, and then a whole 50 foot bed of cherry tomatoes. Yeah, and I think there may be a couple romas down towards the end. And then I've got a 50 foot bed of slicer cucumbers that's coming along nicely. And then right over there, we've got another 50 foot bed of pickling cucumbers that's growing nicely. And we will go check that out here in a few. So I've went through and I've twisted up all of the plants in this bed. I've got to do the same thing in this bed. And then the same thing with the cucumbers in this bed. So let's get at it. All right, so I got that entire bed done. I think it took me about six minutes to go down one side and back down the other. It was about the same for the other, between five and six minutes. So really does not take all that much time, <clears throat> um, but well worth the effort put in. I mean, can you imagine? The first year I grew large sized tomatoes, I didn't run them up a trellis string. Um, I tried doing kind of a California weave style, um, running some trellis strings down the side fairly low not realizing how much they were even going to grow because I grow all indeterminate tomatoes um, they keep growing till the end of the season so as you can imagine if these are all flopped over and laying on the ground it's quite a mess um, not to mention it, it invites pests and disease so by having them up this way you can keep them pruned fairly well which allows for some really nice airflow and promotes uh, the growth of the tomatoes so I'll take you down through here. You can see they're all fruiting really nicely. I do need to still go through and prune for the week. <clears throat> I'm not gonna do that right now. I could spend probably another five, 10 minutes per bed pruning these, um, which I will do later on. But for all intents and purposes, we're talking about trellising. Um, so these will actually keep growing. These cherry tomatoes, as you can see, even a little faster, but these guys will grow pretty much all as high as you can trellis them. So even if you're not growing inside under a hoop, even if you're outside, I really suggest building some sort of line trellis. Um, they're cheap and easy to make. Like I said, a couple of my lines are actually just made out of high tensile fence and then running my tomato twine down off of those. But the production you get off, it doesn't even compare. Um, so I can't wait to see the progression of these and I'll definitely take you guys along to see it as well. 
let's talk about the cucumbers. All right, let's talk about cucumbers. I'm gonna be honest with you. Before I started market gardening, I didn't even know you could trellis cucumbers. So I don't know what rock I was hiding under, but as far as I knew, they just grew on the ground. What kind of sense that made, I don't know. But ever since I started market gardening, now going into our third season, we've always trellised our cucumbers. Maybe not quite this high, but the buggers just like to grow, so they love to climb. So we trellis them exactly the same way I do my tomatoes. Um, I use tomato clips down towards the bottom of these, and then I just twist them up their strings about once a week. Now they will reach out and grab them, um, but I will still twist them just to kind of keep them directed where I want them to go. But again, just like the tomatoes, the production you get off them is incredible uh, because they're not laying on the ground. They're not, they don't rot as fast. They're, it's not inviting the bugs. It's not inviting the disease. It's not inviting the mold. So we trellis all of our cucumbers, our slicers, our pickling cucumbers. We keep them up off the ground. Now, can you imagine if I have 50 cucumber plants here, how much space that would take up if they were just on the ground? But as you can see, I've actually got radishes interplanted with my cucumbers. Now they will come out probably in a week or two, but point being, there's plenty of room to grow other things with them. I've got some carrots started on the other side of them. So this allows me to really maximize the space in the bed um, and maximize the production with the cucumbers. So if you're not, I highly recommend trellising your cucumbers as well. Now let's get these buggers done. Just like my tomatoes, twist them right up. And they love it. These guys will start producing probably in the next boy, week or so, maybe two. All right, so we made short work of that. So you can see just how easy it is to trellis up the cucumbers. It didn't take me, what, about five minutes to work down this bed as well. It's a quick and easy step, but it's a must do if you're gonna trellis your cucumbers or tomatoes. Now, if you haven't noticed a trend yet in this video series, maximizing your space in the market garden, just about anything that is vining or climbing, I'm going vertical with and I'm trellising. It just makes the most sense to maximize the space in that particular bed. If you're going up and it's not sprawling all over the ground, you can usually put another crop in that bed with it. But the plants just grow better, like I mentioned earlier, not to mention the production goes way up as soon as you start to grow vertical. So, so all of that being said, there is still one tomato plant I noticed over there that needs to be clipped onto a string. So let's go over there and I'll show you how I do that. All right. So here's the tomato clips that we use. They're real simple. String goes in here. This goes around the tomato vine and it clips just like that. They can be unclipped. So if you need to move it, you can. So that goes on there just like that. I'm gonna grab this one. So you can see, hopefully, it's gonna go under there like that. Then you can take this and twist it up this string, just like this. There we go. All right, so now we gotta do the same thing to this bed of pickling cucumbers as we did with our slicer cucumbers. So as far as this trellis system goes, it runs on the same exact concept as the other one, but this exact setup, I didn't actually come up with on my own. I got this off of Josh Satin's channel when he came out with the video Trellis to Make You Jealous. If you haven't checked it out, go watch that video. It's a great video and he shows you exactly how to build this. Um, but it's just a half inch conduit and PVC tees. I think I went with a two inch so it would fit down over top of the T-posts. And then I just run my tomato twine down 
uh, with tomato clips and, and hook to the cucumbers just like we did over with the other ones. So we're gonna go ahead and get this taken care of so we can tackle our little beds. All right, so we got all of these twisted up. Looking good. Again, these are all our pickling cucumbers. I really do like that trellis system. It works great, it's very simple. You can take it down and move it to a different bed real easily. So that'll work great. As you can see, we have some bungee onions interplanted with cucumbers, maximizing the space in the bed for sure. All right guys, so we got our task done for the week when it comes to twisting up our tomatoes and our cucumbers. Hopefully you can see the benefits and just how simple it is to build these trellis lines and to let your veggies grow upward. So hopefully you're enjoying this series. If you are, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet, and we'll see you on the next one. Yeah.